just a little update as to what's going on. Uh, I set up for a video on Thursday night. The start of uh, the four day Victoria Day long weekend here in Canada. And uh, my target was M106 and I was all set up and ready for that but uh, it ended up uh, clouding over. So that never happened and here we are on the Monday of the four day long weekend. Back to work tomorrow and uh, it's actually supposed to be the first clear night of the, of the four day weekend tonight. So I'm going to roll with it and uh, try again for M106 tonight. Tonight's target is M106. It's an intermediate spiral galaxy in the constellation Canes Venetici. It's uh, close by to the Whale Galaxy that I recently shot. It's also similar in size, so quite small through the ED-102. It's a beautiful galaxy. Uh, I think it's nicknamed the Splendid Galaxy. Uh, so you know a galaxy with that kind of a name is going to be good. And uh, it's just in the sweet spot of the sky for me right now. Um, if you do hear a couple of bangs in the background, it's just because it's uh, the Victoria Day holiday today and uh, there's fireworks going off around the corner. So anyways, uh, M106 is the target for tonight. And uh, I'm also going to cover using the polar alignment feature of SharpCap Pro. And uh, I've recently discovered how to, uh, to fine tune my polar alignment by using the uh, auto guiding camera and the, f the feature in uh, SharpCap Pro. sky is being completely lit up right now. Horrible light pollution. Fireworks in the air. Hopefully these uh, fireworks shows are over soon so I can uh, get to some astrophotography. Um, but no, seriously, I hope they're having a good time, but uh, at the same time, turn the lights off. So, the first time I tried to do this uh, polar alignment routine using SharpCap, I was using my primary imaging camera, the ASI-071, through my telescope at 714 millimeters. So that is way too, uh, way too long of a focal length. And uh, so any, any adjustment I made to the Alt-As bolts on the mount would make a major change in the uh, polar alignment. Uh, and I couldn't really fine tune. So what you need to do is use uh, your finder scope, like a 50 millimeter star wave, uh, to a 200 millimeter focal length. So it's a nice wide field of view and I can make subtle adjustments um, more uh, conveniently to, uh, to really nail this polar alignment. So before you start the process, you want to make sure your, your telescope and your mount are back in the home position. I'm just going to start up sharp cap here. As you can hear the fireworks continuing to go off. So I've just got the Altair GP Cam 2 AR130 connected right now through the uh, guide scope. Okay. I'm just in uh, sharp cap here and uh, we're looking at 4 second frames through the Altair GP Cam 2 and uh, I'm gonna start up the polar alignment tool so it's under uh, the tools tab here here so it has a little wizard here at the bottom so you can see it there and basically it's telling you uh, some of the stuff I've already said which is uh, have your your scope in the home position it says, it says right here, a 200 millimeter focal length finder, guider plus guide camera is ideal, which is exactly what we're using. So step one is capturing the first image. It's 
it's got the status there and uh, currently it's not solved and it's taking some more frames. SharpCap needs to find at least 10 to 15 stars so it's detected 5 stars it needs at least 15 it's doing its thing okay status solved excellent so now we can go to next now rotate your mount through about 90 degrees about the RA axis so the right ascension and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now Okay, step two, capture a second image. So it's doing its thing now. Status, rotate further. Solved, okay, good. Press the next button to adjust the alt as. I know I'm gonna do that. Okay, results. Find the star with the yellow arrow and use the alt as adjustments to move it in the direction of the arrow to place it in the center of the yellow target. Okay, looks like you can see that there. That's where I wanna go. And now watching that, I'm gonna have to tilt the computer a little bit. I'm gonna uh, adjust the alt as bolts on the mount and see if we can really nail this sucker. I hope that wasn't too painful to watch. Uh, there was a little bit of back and forth there because uh, you're adjusting the Altaz bolts uh, as you're watching the screen and it's a four second exposure each time to uh, pull those stars into the field. So you, you make the adjustment and wait for the screen to refresh. See if you're getting closer and closer to that perfect polar alignment spot. Uh, but when you realize that uh, you're getting perfect polar alignment that uh, the guys that are using a pull master are getting, and uh, without that tool at all, and just using a software with your existing camera and your finder scope, uh, that's a pretty uh, neat uh, way to get a, an excellent polar alignment, I'd say. Uh, so as close as I got, that closer in was that much better than I, I already thought my, my best polar alignment was. So I'll be using this every time now for polar alignment, uh, this amazing feature of SharpCat Pro. One more thing I forgot to mention, you want to do this polar alignment uh, process through SharpCap before you do your star alignment on your mount. Still using the hand controller. Well, it's after midnight now, and uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm getting a little tired. Uh, it's going to be an early morning for work tomorrow, but uh, I'm up and running on M106 now. I actually had to go back into the polar alignment feature of SharpCap to uh, fine-tune my mount even further. Uh, initially, my PhD graph wasn't looking the greatest, uh, but it does look better now. So. Uh, my advice for you if you are using sharp cap in the polar alignment uh, feature, make sure you really get that uh, locked on before you settle on your, uh, your guiding. So uh, it's something I'm going to be uh, continuing to look at and using and uh, just like anything else I'm sure I'll get better.